In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable lion baby ring. You're going to need yarn, safety nose, safety eyes, fiber fill, and a rattle insert. For the ring part of the baby ring, we're going to start with the semi ring and you'll need the yarn, a 3.5 millimeter hook, and your stitch marker. I'm gonna start by making a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, grab your yarn, and then you're going to pull on both the tail and the working yarn to tighten that up. Drop your tail, and then just pull to tighten and then we're going to start with a chain of 15. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we're going to place the stitch marker and you will start on round one. So we're going to take your chain and do 15 single crochets around this chain. So we're going to enter into this first stitch and do a single crochet. So there's one and you'll continue all the way around doing one single crochet in each of these chains all the way around. And once you've reached the end of the round, you should have a total of 15 stitches. For rounds two through 18, you're just going to continue with just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this is rounds two through 18, doing one single crochet in each stitch. And once you've reached the end of round 18, you should still have a total of 15 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round 18. I have 15 stitches all together. And so now I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. Go ahead and cut your yarn, pull it all the way through. And now we're going to do the border for the semi ring. So you're going to take your yarn and attach it in that last stitch that you just did. So just pull it through. We're going to chain one just to secure it and then go back into that same stitch for a single crochet. And now we'll just single crochet all the way around and you can take your ends and hide those inside the stitches for a few stitches and then you can just drop those and you'll continue this all the way around and you should still have a total of 15 stitches once you're done and we're just gonna do this for one round. And then once you're done with this side, you'll repeat the process on the other end. So just go all the way around, a couple more stitches. And then slip stitch into that first stitch that you did to tie off. And grab your scissors, 
Cut your yarn. When you cut your yarn on this piece, you want to leave a long enough tail to sew the semicircle in place. And then you can take these end pieces here and thread them through your yarn needle. And just go back through a couple of stitches just to make sure it's secure. And then cut off the excess. And then for the other end, you'll do the repeat the same process for this side, making sure when you cut your yarn, you're leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And here I've finished the edges on the semi ring. And now you are ready to begin on the main part of the ring. For the main part of the ring, you'll need your yarn, the 3.5 millimeter hook, and your stitch marker. And we will start with a slip knot. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, give it a pull. And then you'll start by doing a chain of 12. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you'll place your stitch marker. Bring the end of your chain around. And you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So go into that first chain that you made and do your single crochet, and then one single crochet in each of the chains all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds two through 46, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you'll end up with a long cylinder shape. Make sure you stuff this as you go. And then once you've reached the end of round 46, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round 46. I've removed my stitch marker. I still have 12 stitches. We're just going to slip stitch into this next stitch. Cut your yarn and tie off. And then you can just take that tail and hide it inside the ring, just run it through the stuffing. Don't pull too, too tight. And then just snip off the excess, which will then just hide inside that ring. To join the semi ring with the main part of the ring, you're going to insert one end of the main part of the ring you probably need to squish it a little bit so it'll fit in there. I've partially stuffed the semi ring, leaving space for this end to go in. And we're just going to slide that in so it goes in for a few rounds. And then you'll take your yarn needle, thread your yarn needle, and then we'll secure this end in place 
And you're just going to take your yarn needle and go through the stitch in that outer ring and going through some of the stitches. Here, I'll move that out of the way. Go back up through a stitch in the main ring. And then back up through the outer ring. And that will secure this in place. So just move to the next spot. Try to follow the same line all the way around. So just go down in through there. Make sure you're getting under some of the stitches in the main ring before coming back out through the semi ring. Going down to the next one. Come back out. I'll just do this all the way around, making sure you're going through some of the stitches that are in the main ring before coming back out through the semi ring. And do this all the way around until it's nice and secure. And I'm back to where I started. Give that a pull that is secure. And now we'll just go under a stitch and tie off. And then you'll take your yarn needle and stick it through. And that way you can hide your tail. And then just snip off the excess. And then that'll hide the tail inside the ring. And then you'll repeat that with this other side. So you'll take and shape it into a ring. Make sure that you've got enough stuffing in here so this part holds its shape. And then you'll take this end and repeat what you just did on the other side. So pop that in there. And thread your yarn needle and just repeat the process all the way around. Go through a stitch in the out part and then through the main part and back up through the outer part. And move to the next stitch, making sure you're going under some of the stitches in the main part of the ring and then back up through a stitch in the semi ring. Pulling tight, move to the next one and repeat all the way around. Making sure you're catching both parts each time. until you've reached back to where you started. So just keep going around until you're back to where you started. Make sure you've got that all nice and secure. And then just go under a stitch to tie off. And then take your yarn needle and poke that through and that will hide the tail inside the ring. Snip off the excess. And there we go. We have made the ring part of our baby ring. For the arms, you'll need your tan yarn a yarn needle, scissors, and stitch marker, and we will be continuing to use the 3.5 millimeter hook. For round one, you'll start with your magic circle, and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Grab the tail, pull to close, and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do the repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet followed by one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Round four, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Round five, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by one single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. One decrease followed by one single crochet. So just continue to do that. Decrease one single crochet, decrease one single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Before moving on, now is a good time to take a moment to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess. And then you're ready for the next round. And for rounds six through nine, you're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round nine, you should still have 12 stitches. For round 10, you're going to do one decrease, followed by 10 single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 11 stitches. Round 11, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should still have 11 stitches. For round 12, you're going to do one decrease followed by nine stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that brings you to the end of this round, at which point you should have a total of 10 stitches. For round 13, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, at which point you should still have a total of 10 stitches. Before closing up the arm, make sure to stuff the arm and then we'll remove that stitch marker and fold the arm flat. And you're going to take your crochet hook and go through both sides and do single crochets all the way across. So making sure you're going through both sides of the arm for your single crochets. And we'll go all the way across 
And on that very last stitch, just do a slip stitch to tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you cut your tail long enough so you have enough yarn for sewing. And then of course you wanna make two of these. And then we will attach these to the baby ring. To attach the arms to the ring, you're going to thread your yarn needle. I've already placed my first one. We're putting this part down at the bottom. And so I come up here to the top of the ring. My first arm's already on, and I'm going to leave six rows in between the arms. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I'm going to attach right here, so that way there are six rows in between. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go through a stitch in the ring, and then through a stitch in the arm. Pull nice and tight. And then you'll move to the next stitch in the ring and go up through the next stitch in the arm. And you'll continue to do this all the way across. So go to the next stitch in the ring and up through the stitch in the arm. Next stitch in the ring and up through the stitch in the arm. And then we'll get to this last stitch. And go through that final stitch of the arm. Pull nice and tight. Make sure you've got them even. And then we're just going to go under a stitch in the ring. Take your yarn through that loop that you just made, pull nice and tight, and then you can take your yarn needle and hide that tail inside the ring. I'm gonna go through a couple of times just to make sure I've got it in there secure. And then you'll just cut off the excess and that hides the tail. And so there we have our arms are attached to the ring. For the lion's head, you will need your yarn, your 3.5 millimeter hook, and your stitch marker. For round one, we're gonna start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop, hold it in place. You're going to drop that tail and grab your working yarn, chain one to secure, and then you're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. So making sure you're going through the circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And now you'll grab that tail and give it a pull. And that will close up your hole and place the stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. So go into that first stitch, do your single crochet, go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet. And that is one increase. And then you'll repeat that all the way around. Go into the next stitch. And continue to do that. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to do that all the way around. 
one single crochet, followed by one increase, and then one single crochet, one increase, and you'll continue to do that until you've reached the end of this round, at which point you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So two single crochet, and then an increase, and continue repeating that. So two single crochet, one increase, and once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, and three, followed by one increase. And then you'll repeat that all the way around. So three single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll keep doing that. Three single crochet, one increase, three single crochet, one increase. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, and four, and then do your increase. And so you'll just repeat that all the way around. Four single crochet, one increase, four single crochet, one increase, all the way to the end. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, followed by one increase. And then you're gonna repeat that all the way to the end of the round five single crochet, one increase, five single crochet, one increase, and once you reach the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round eight, your repeating sequence will be six single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you'll do one increase and continue to repeat that all the way around. Six single crochet, one increase, six single crochet, one increase. And you'll do that all the way until you've reached the end of your round, at which point you should have a total of 48 stitches. 9 through 16, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round 16, you should still have a total of 48 stitches. Here I have finished round 16. And you'll see that your head is starting to take shape. It should fold up to where it kind of looks like a bowl when you're holding it, and this is how you want it to be. And before moving on, we're going to go ahead and insert our safety eyes. 
We're going to come down to between round 10 and 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So between rounds 10 and 11, you'll insert your eyes. And we're going to leave about seven stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So count down and insert them between rounds 10 and 11 with seven stitches in between. And these are safety eyes, so they do have a backing. And you'll take your backing and stick it onto the post. And this is just a stylus that I removed the tip from. This works great for popping those backings on nice and secure. And do that with both of the eyes. So just stick your backing on and push it down and that makes them nice and secure so they're not going to come right off if the baby is chewing on the eyes and that pointy bit will be hidden inside all of the stuffing that we're going to put in here and so there are the eyes that have been attached for round 17 we're going to start doing our decreases. So your repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you'll do one decrease. So go into this next stitch, bring up a loop, go to the following stitch, bring up a loop, and then pull through all three of those loops. And that is your decrease. We'll do that one more time, just so you can see. So six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five and six, followed by a decrease. So bring up that first loop, go to the next stitch, bring up the loop, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. And you'll continue to do that. Six single crochet, one decrease, six single crochet, one decrease, all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round 18, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll do a decrease and repeat. So five single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. Five single crochet, one decrease, five single crochet, one decrease, until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round 19, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, and four. And now we'll do a decrease and repeat. So four single crochet followed by one decrease, one, two, three, four, and a decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around, four single crochet followed by a decrease until you've reached the end of the round. 
at which point you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 20, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one, two, and three. And then we do a decrease and repeat that all the way around. So three single crochet, two, three, and a decrease. And continue to do that all the way around, three single crochet, one decrease. Once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Before moving on to round 21, I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing the head. And if you choose to put a rattle insert, this would be the time to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in there. Kind of make a little pocket in the stuffing and tuck it into the stuffing. Just like that. And now we're ready to start on round 21. So we'll fix our stitch marker. And for round 21, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one and two, and then we'll do our decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around, two single crochet, followed by a decrease. And you'll keep doing that all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round 22, your repeating sequence will be one single crochet, followed by one decrease. And then you'll repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, followed by one decrease. And so just keep repeating that. One single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet, one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Before closing up this hole, I've added just a little bit more stuffing. And so for rounds 23 through 24, you're just going to keep decreasing until this hole is closed. So you can remove that stitch marker because you're just going to keep going around with your decreases until you've closed up this hole. And so just continue to decrease until it gets to the point where you can't get your hook through the stitches anymore. Just a couple more. Just keep going around. And then once it's almost all the way closed up, just take your hook through a couple of the stitches and then slip stitch. Do it maybe one more time. Slip stitch and then tie off. And then you want to leave a long enough tail so you can attach the head to the ring. So you'll cut your yarn and pull that tight. And then you'll use this tail for attaching the head to the ring. For the muzzle, you're going to start with white yarn. You're also going to need the safety nose, stitch marker, and the 3.5 millimeter hook. For round one, we will begin 
with a magic circle. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, bring up your loop. You'll chain one to secure your yarn and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. Here's two, three, four, five, and six. Grab that tail, give it a pull, and that will close up your yarn. Place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. Go into that first stitch, do your first single crochet, and then into that same stitch, another single crochet. That's your increase, and you're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, one single crochet, one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around, two single crochet, followed by one increase. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of 24 stitches. And here I'm coming up to the end of round five. Five, and it's time to change colors. So I'm gonna go into that last stitch, bring up my loop, go ahead and remove my stitch marker to get that out of the way, grab the tan yarn and pull it through those two loops to finish that stitch. And then we will replace the stitch marker and we're ready to begin our next rounds. So for round six and seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around using that tan yarn and just catch your end pieces inside your stitch. That'll help to hold it in place. And then after a few stitches, you can just let go of those end pieces and continue on. So for round six and seven, just one single crochet in each stitch. And at the end of round seven, you should still have 24 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round seven. I've removed that stitch marker. Just go into that next stitch and do a slip stitch to tie off. Go ahead and cut the yarn. And you, when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail so you can sew the muzzle onto the head. And then take a few moments to go ahead and weave in these end pieces. So just thread your yarn needle Trim that so it's even. And then you'll take these two, just go back through, 
some of the stitches the other direction. And that will get that nice and secure. Trim off the excess. Do the same with that beginning tail. Pull your yarn nice and tight to make sure that hole's closed up. And then just go under a couple of the stitches or through the stitches and snip off the excess. Before we sew it onto the head, we're going to go ahead and add the safety nose. So we'll take the safety nose and place it, let's see, one, two, between rounds three and four. Just pop that in. Take your backing, place that on, and just pop that into place. Nice and secure. And we are ready to attach the muzzle. To attach the muzzle, go ahead and thread your yarn needle. I've placed a little bit of stuffing in there just so it'll hold its shape while I'm sewing. And then you can add more if you need to. And we're gonna place the muzzle just below the eyes so this edge will match up with that line right at the center point of the eyes. So to attach, we're just going to go through under a stitch in the head and then up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you're going to do this all the way around. So under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And just continue to do that all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've come back to where I started. I've got the muzzle in place. And now we'll just take it under one more stitch so we can tie off. So make a little bit of a loop, put your yarn through, pull tight, and then just take that needle and poke it through the head. And that will hide the tail inside the head and snip that off. And there we have the muzzle attached. For the mouth, you're going to cut a length of brown yarn. I'm going to tie a slip knot on one end and then thread the other end through the yarn needle. And we're going to tighten up that slip knot a little bit. And we'll take our yarn needle and we're gonna do just a little half smile here. So we're gonna go under one of the stitches. And then when you get to that slip knot, just slide your needle through that slip knot and pull tight. And we'll weave this piece in once we're done. And so now we're going to skip a stitch and go into the next one and then come back up through that original stitch that we went through. Pull it tight. And I'm going to move my yarn to the other side of that stitch. There we go. And now we'll go to this next stitch and we're just following the line of our rows until we've got a little half smile. So a couple more. I think one more should do. Yep. 
down. That looks good right there. Okay, and now we're gonna go back under the stitch so we can tie off. And then you'll take your yarn needle and poke it through so you can hide the tail. And there's that side. Now we're gonna come back to this beginning tail here and do the same thing. Take it and poke it in through the head and that'll hide the tails. Then you'll just snip off the excess. And now the tails are hidden and you can use your yarn needle to kind of push this all back up the way it's supposed to be. And there we have attached his little half smile there. For the ears, you're going to use your tan yarn, the 3.5 millimeter hook, and a stitch marker. And we'll start with our magic circle. And into that magic circle, you will do six single crochet. This one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab the tail, give it a pull, and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to increase in each stitch all the way around. So that's one increase in each stitch. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And then you'll just repeat that all the way around, one single crochet, followed by one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, you're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of 18 stitches. Round five, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease. So do your decrease, followed by one single crochet. And you're gonna repeat this all the way around. One decrease, followed by one single crochet. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round six, we're going to take the ear and fold it flat and then do a single crochet going through both sides. So you're gonna go through the stitches on both sides and do a single crochet. And then move to the next one, going through both sides, single crochet. You'll do this all the way across. And on that last stitch, you'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. When you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing the ear onto the head. To attach the ears to the head, you're going to thread your yarn needle. And I've already done one ear. And so now we'll just line this other ear up so it matches the first one like that. And you're going to take your yarn needle 
go under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the ear. Going to the next stitch, go under the stitch in the head, through the stitch in the ear, and you'll just keep doing that all the way until the ear is completely attached. So I've just got a couple more. So under the stitches, And through that stitch in the ear and then once you've reached the end you'll just go under a stitch to secure it and tie off make sure you pull nice and tight and then take that yarn needle and just go through the head so we can hide the tail inside and there we have attached our ears to attach the head to the ring thread your yarn needle and then we're going to line the center of the head up to the center between the two arms like that and then you're just going to take your yarn needle And just sew it, take your yarn needle through the stitch in the ring, come all the way out the other side. So come all the way out the other side, and then we're gonna go through a stitch in the head Pull that nice and tight. And then we'll do that again. So we're gonna go through a stitch in the ring all the way over to the other side. Pull tight. And we'll just keep doing that until we feel like the head is on there securely. So I'm gonna go under a stitch in the head Pull tight and then through a stitch in the ring all the way to the other side. I'm going to do that a few more times. So go under a stitch in the head and then I'll go back through a stitch in the ring all the way through to the back. And so you'll just keep doing that until your head is secure. Once you've done that a few times and you feel that the head is secure, you're just going to take your yarn and go through a stitch so you can tie off. So go through that loop, pull nice and tight, and then just hide the tail inside the head and snip off the excess and then now all we have left to do is add the mane for the mane of the lion you're going to cut strips of yarn you'll need quite a bit of it and you take each strip fold it in half Thread the folded end through your yarn needle. And now you're going to be working around all the stitches to fill in the back of the head, come up around here, frame the face with the mane. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You know, take your yarn needle and go under each stitch, pull it through, hold on to your cut ends while you remove the yarn needle, 
And then you'll just take those cut ends through that loop that you just made and pull tight. And then when you're done, you'll trim it down to the size you want. So just take each strip, fold it in half, thread your yarn needle, move to the next stitch, bring that looped end through, and then take your cut ends through that loop you just made and pull tight. So let's do that one more time on camera. And then you will just continue to do that for each stitch until you have all the parts for the main on there. So under a stitch, bring it through, grab your cut ends, bring those through that loop and pull. Pull nice and tight so it stays in place. And so you're just gonna continue to do that all the back of the head, all the way around the sides and kind of make a around the face, a circular line around the face so it frames in the muzzle and the eyes. And here I have finished putting all the yarn on for the mane of the lion all the way around. And then just take the scissors and trim it down to the length you would like. And now the lion is ready to play with. 